What's going on guys? Today I'm going to talk about how to reach out to people on Instagram, any other social media platform and actually get a network instead of just getting ghosted like most people who reach out get. Okay, I'm getting tons of DMs and I've been getting tons of DMs of people who say things like, hey, I just started following you and I was wondering if you had any appointment setting openings. I don't know who the heck this guy is and he's reaching out. Okay, so I'm actually going to screen record so you guys can follow along with me and look at some of the messages that I've been getting. So number one from Tom Haney was literally, hey, I just started following you and was wondering if you had any appointment setting openings. So even if I say yes, he's going to say, can I have it? What? That, that is one of the worst openings I've ever seen. Not even a, hey, how's it going, man? I like your content. It's literally, hey, I started following you and I, I'm wondering if you have anything to offer me. Can I have, can I have a job? That's, that's a horrible, horrible, horrible one. Let's go to another one. So I got one from Ethan. Ethan, hi, Benny. How are you doing today? Much better start, right? But then he goes, oh, and then he goes, my name is Ethan Warner, and I was currently wondering if you were looking for a remote closer. Still in the same sentence, saying hello and then asking for something. Guys, you don't, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You don't just go up to people and say, hey, um, can I have that sandwich? No, it doesn't work like that. Are they... Cool. And then he says, I've seen your page for a while now and I love your work and what I see and I definitely believe I can become an asset to you and your company. So when he says, I've seen your page for a while now, then I go, oh, okay. That's a great thing to say. But then I go check and he's not following me. So how has he seen my page for a while now if he's not following me, if you see my page for a while now and he loves my work and what he sees, then why isn't he following me? So now he's a liar. In my opinion, I'm, oh, screw this guy. He's straight up lying to me in order to get me to give him a job. I'm definitely not going to give him a job. I can't even trust him. He's already ruined his credibility. On to the next person. So the uh, easy lesson there is don't lie when you're talking to somebody that you want to work with. Then we got John Flores. Hey, Benny D. I want to int introduce myself, but I don't know where to start. Can we have a conversation meeting soon? Asking. Again, you guys can just get, well, why the heck are you asking me for stuff? Do, can we have a conversation meeting soon? This is, it's, it's like he tried to not ask for anything, but then he asked for some, something. Because I know the conversation meeting is like, can I have a job? So he asked for the, have a conversation meeting, and then he's going to ask for the job. Another terrible one. And then we got Yafet. And it says, Parel, he spelled personal incorrectly. And he goes, hey, Benny, wave. What am I supposed to spell on? Hey, Yafet, wave. Not great. All of these are really, really bad. So now I'm going to tell you what I would do if I were getting started. So the first thing I would do, actually, I'm going to start screen recording again. Oh, well, maybe not. What I'll do is I would figure out what niche do I want to work in. If I want to be a remote closer, right? If I want to become an appointment setter all over again, which is where I started, and now I'm a sales manager and I'm doing over $15,000 a month and our team is doing over $85,000 a month in high ticket sales. If I were starting all over again, I would go onto pages of people that I would be interested in working with and I would start commenting on all of their posts as they post each week. I would turn alerts on on their posts and then for the next full week, or two out of like 10, 20 people, I would pick 30, 40, 50 people, 100 people, right? If this, if you don't have a job and you got nothing to do, you might as well. If this is what you want to do, if you're an appointment setter, you got to be good. And the first test is get the job. I'd find 100 people, I'd write them down, I'd make my dream 100. Top 100 people that I would love to work with. And then I would have alerts on all of them. And every time they posted, I would go on and I would comment on their post on Instagram, right? If Instagram is the way you're going to move. So now, when you do go to reach out, they go, oh, I've seen this guy. He's been commenting on my post for like two weeks and he's, that's freaking dope. I love it when people comment on my post. If I see you and you're commenting on my post, I'm down to help. Okay. So as soon as you start commenting, you're going to grab that rapport without even having to chat with them. It's like third person rapport. They just see you and other people are going to see you around that person and they're going to start to, you know, look at you and think of the other guy. So start commenting on a hundred people's posts for a hundred days. That's freaking dope. And then even not 100 days, you can do it for 20, you can do it for three, 30 days, whatever. Start systematically reaching out to those people and going, hey man, I just wanted to say I freaking 
love that last post you did. It really resonated with me uh, about about my life. I'm curious, what inspired you to make that video? And they'll go, oh, dude, thanks for asking, blah, 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 blah. I, I, and this, I, this inspired me to make that video. Gotcha, man. Thanks, hey, ha happy new year. Have a good one. And then don't ask for anything. And do that to 100 of them. Okay, and, and, and 80 of them, 70 of them, a certain amount will respond. And now you have contact. That's a huge piece. And while you're doing this, you should be building up your own personal brand. You should be posting every day on social media. You should, if now you can buy the blue tick. I had to earn the blue tick, okay? I didn't buy mine. <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> you got to post all the time. You gotta post, you gotta get great lighting so that you look great. So that when people go, oh, this guy is dope. You get that first point of contact, they go check you out. Cause that's what I do, I check people out. They got 135 followers in their profile picture as a cat and they're on private. I don't wanna work with them. I don't wanna talk to them. You're not a player in the game. So get your profile picture looking good. Get a dope profile picture. You can do the random color background, whatever, what any content creators do. Get your setup in the bio. I help businesses scale from $10,000 to $100,000 a month. If you want to be an appointment setter, put it in your bio, right? Don't be like, and over high school, 2020. Like, no, put your business. This isn't a social media profile. This is a business profile. <coughs> So now when people go click on you, you go, oh, okay. Even if you got 135 followers, you, your profile picture looks good. You've got posts that are going up on the regular and your, your bio looks great. Okay, you've already gotten more credibility. Now you followed up with all of those people, jumping back to all the followers, you've, you've messaged them all. And then you're gonna keep commenting on those posts. And then you're gonna reach out again and go, hey man, because what usually happens is people will send messages, be like, reach out if you need help with X. And you can reach out and say, hey man, um, I know you said reach out if you have need help with X. I, I, I'm curious, do you help people get remote closing jobs? Do you, do you help people work as a closer? Do you, do, you, do you have an opportunity? Like, do you help people get opportunities to get a job as a DM setter? Because you should be in a niche of people who are around that type of thing. And they're either gonna try and sell you their program and one of the best ways to get a job is to buy programs and then be the best in that class. That's how I got my job. I bought a damn program for 2,500 bucks, crushed everybody else in there, and then got really, really cool with the guy who ran it. And he said, oh, you should talk to Ted Carr. Now, I'm, now I got a millionaire mentor. So the easy runaround for all of this is just pay money, pay it. Pay 2,500 bucks, start chatting with some of these people, get into their program, and then Especially if you ask, I'm curious, like if I buy your program, does it help me get placed as a, as a setter? And if they're high profile people, they go, yeah, dude, it will. And you go, okay, well, and they're, they're gonna work through it with you because now you're a potential client. You're gonna build rapport. They already like you. They might cut you a deal. Then you get in, you might even get some special service so that you get set up. If you don't have 2,500, if you don't have 100 bucks, if you don't have any money to invest, you can literally chat with those 100 people and just keep on buttering them up. You're like, gotcha, dude, I really like this post really resonate with this one. Do what inspired this one? What are you gonna post next week? And then, then hit them with, dude, I've actually been considering, dude, I've actually wanted to let you know, mm, how can you provide value without asking? This is the question, right? How do you reach out to somebody? Dude, I wanted to let you know, it's a tough one. And if you get, I want you guys to brainstorm as well. Hey man, I see that you've been selling this program for a while. I'm curious, do you already have an appointment setter? Or are you looking Are you looking for one? And if they say, nah, I've actually already got one. Or they say, what's that? Now you've got the intro to start chatting about it. That's probably what I would use. Get get into it, because now you've commented on their post for four months, or however long, two weeks, whatever. You've already chatted with them a couple of times, and then you go, hey man, I see you've been selling this program for a while on your social media page. I'm curious, do you have an appointment setter running your DMs? or are you looking for one? Or, or, or are, you, are you looking for one? Or, or have you ever heard of that? Ask them that type of question. Start trialing and erroring that. And then most people are either gonna already have an appointment center and be like, yeah, dude, I'm the appointment center. Or yeah, I already have one. Some people are gonna go, what's that? Some people are gonna go, no, I'm actually looking for one. I've never had one before. Boom, there you go. But if you keep on sending me a gosh darn message saying, hey bro, can I have a job? You're never going to get a job, okay? It's freaking infuriating. So I hope that that did a little bit of value for you guys because it, it is absurd the amount of people that think that's gonna work. So let, let's, let's cut that out. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.